looking at search and rescue for remote sensing based around the idea of the missing Malaysian Airlines plane. Okay. So the question was, can we use remote sensing to find the plane? So, so there's a couple of components that we need to consider, and this is for any remote sensing project, not just for search and rescue. Okay, so we need this critical subject information. Okay, we need information about the environment where our subject actually is. Um, and then we need to consider what sensor options we have. All right, and we need for these all to match up to be able to consider remote sensing as a, as a valuable tool in that particular situation. So our subject information is the who, why, what, where, when and how of what it is that we're trying to measure, map, monitor, identify. Okay. Our environmental information is any considerations or impediments that might affect our ability to decide who, why, what, where, when, how. Um, and our sensor options, so the characteristics of different sensors, their availability and their scheduling. Okay, so in a little bit more detail, our critical subject information. All right, so what do we need to know about the Malaysian airline plane? Um, so just a, just a few that I brainstormed before was general location, um, the time of disappearance and how much time has elapsed since it disappeared, um, weather conditions, although that's also part of um, environmental as well, um, the size, shape, colour, temperature, um, and the contrast of that object with its environment. Okay, so they're my main things that I need to know to, to start to figure out, is this going to be useful to me? Okay, the environmental information. Cloud cover. Okay, am I actually going to be able to use satellite or is it totally cloudy in the area? Um, any other obscuring features? So if the plane has gone down in water, the water itself is going to obscure our chances of viewing it, unless it's going to sit floating on the surface. Or has it gone down in vegetation? And is it going to sit at the top of the vegetation or be broken up in bits and pieces? Um, any environmental movement, so winds or currents, anything like that? Okay, so we start to get a bit of a picture of the scene. If the plane is still all in one piece or if it's busted up into little bits and pieces, is really, really important because that affects its size. Yeah? So that's still in the first part, our critical subject information. So our sensor options, what do we think is important here? Pixel size and spatial resolution, or the spatial detail that we can get. Contrast levels, how frequently the satellite's going to go over. You need information about its spectral capability or the colours that it measures. Um, the spatial detail and the spatial extent, how frequently it overpasses and, of course, how much it costs? What the, the cost accounts for? Someone has to pay to acquire the data. But that means they have to acquire Can you see the planes in this image? Yeah, pretty easily. Okay, while well, they're still intact. Um, this is at Darwin Airport. Here's the full image here. Um, and so this is just a, a black and white image. If I just gave you that image of a new place where you'd never seen that area before, um, to be able to find the planes, the easiest thing to, to do is to know where the airport is to start with. It's the airport you can pretty easily see um, in that general area. But if you don't know the area, it can be quite challenging to find the planes to start with. Okay, but still, once you find them, they're pretty clear to see. Yeah? Um, this image here, uh, in the range of, say, five to $10,000, 20 by 20 Ks. Okay, pretty small. This is a Worldview 2 image, and we'll be looking at this in the practical this afternoon. Okay, but you can obviously very clearly see the planes. All right, so, I, so can you use remote sensing to detect planes? Yeah, at this stage. Okay, question for you guys. This is the Earth, yeah? It's the MCG. Okay, so if we've lost a plane somewhere on the Earth, what is the equivalent feature that I need to find within the MCG to give you a bit of an idea about scale and how easy or difficult this is? Okay, so the total area of the Earth versus the total area of the MCG. Anyone want to hazard a guess at what, what ratio I'm going to look at or the size of the feature within the MCG? Grain of sand? A blade of grass? 
marble. Okay, some good guesses. All right, I've got my dimensions of a 747. I can't, I'm not sure exactly what the, um, what the dimensions of the plane was that is missing. Um, but this is the rough dimensions, okay? So obviously it's not exactly that shape, but gives me a general idea about what the area of the plane is. So if I want to find that plane on the Earth, it's the equivalent of something that has a diameter of 0.2 mils in the MCG. A piece of couscous. <laughs> Okay, so not totally fair because there, there are some known things that it's not anywhere on the surface of the Earth, yeah? Okay, so they know there, you, we can restrict it. So maybe let's say a, a five cent coin in the MCG. Do you want to look for that? Can you find that very easily? If you have a lot of people searching and if you know where to look? Yeah, which, which is an excellent point and it comes back to the pixel resolution and has the plane broken up, okay? So you want to, with the, with the pixel size and how that relates to the feature that you want to be able to detect, the pixel size needs to be smaller than what you're trying to find, okay? So if you go back to this image, okay, this has a half metre pixel size and again we'll look at this more in class this afternoon so don't worry too much about the detail, um, but basically it means that this that if you look at the, um, the size of one of the squares on this carpet, um, this is probably around about the same size as a pixel in that image. So each plane is made up of a lot of, of, a lot of pixels, so you can, uh, you can pick it up quite easily. But if that's broken up into smaller pieces, it gets harder and harder, particularly if they're all scattered, or, scattered around. What if, they if, it, if it's down at the, on the bottom of the ocean, then you could use sonar on a boat. Um, but that's even slower than satellite to acquire data. You'd do that once you know pretty well where it is, then you'd scan an area. So it comes down to a few things. It comes down to money um, and then it comes down to manpower. So I did have, um, I had a link up on one of the earlier slides that was um, some information about some crowdsourcing that's looking at getting people to look at the images and see if they can pick stuff up. Um, but, you know, when you, when you get down to trying to find a grain of couscous at the MCG, it's luck, yeah? Okay, so the question again, can we use remote sensing to find the plane? Who thinks yes? Potentially, Potentially it, you, it's not out of the question. It's just extremely difficult, yeah? It's theoretically not impossible. <laughs>